Hey guys, what is up? I thought I would give the LHR dual mining 100% unlock here another shot. This time I'm going to be doing it on Hive OS on this monster rig with 3080 Ti, 3080, 3070 Ti, 3070, 3060 Ti, and 3060. So this guy is mining Raven right now, and these are kind of the base settings. I've been doing this forever. Here is some power for it. Memory clocks. All the cores are at zero for everything. I haven't done any core locks on Raven. I find it doesn't really make a difference, so I just leave it at zero. Here is our memory settings. So I'm going to be trying all these again on Raven and ETH, just the way it is, and then I'll drop these all down to maybe like 500 or zero and seeing if it works. If it, Because last time I tried this just on the 3080 Ti, it didn't work. We'll just go over here to the shell. You can see what each card is doing. It's been up for 17 hours now. So there we go. This is our Kapow algorithm running just pure Raven. Here's kind of the benchmark to beat dollar wise. So I wasn't able to get this rig working on Hive for whatever reason. I'm not very good at that Linux command stuff in there. So I just moved it over to, oh, what is this? SMOS. And I am running the LHR unlock with T-Rex 24. And as you can see here, it's doing the same thing. It just keeps saying LHR detected, LHR detected, changing tuning. You can see here 28 to 27 unlocking, trying to unlock. Here we go. GPU zero detected, changing from 27 to 26. GPU one LHR detected. GPU five trying to unlock GPU two. So it keeps dropping all the cards. It's detecting all of them. So here is the overclocks. These are just what I had on here before. Power limit is what I had on here before for all the cards this is for these are all my raven settings so what i'm going to try doing here is dropping this down these power limits i'll leave where they at because if you have a higher power limit it's not going to affect the card like you would if you had a lower one memory here i'm going to drop these down i'm going to put them at 1000 all of them going to get 1000 Okay, there we go. Save and reload. Let's do a save and reboot. And we will reboot this entire rig. And when we come back, we'll see if that helps it out a little bit. So here we are, fired this up. OC hasn't even applied yet and it's still detecting the LHR. GPU to unlock. GPU 4, trying to unlock. GPU 1, LHR detected. GPU 3, LHR detected. So this just keeps detecting everything. This is the same story as the just the 3080 Ti. And I tried it with all these other cards right now just to see if it would work. And apparently it's doing the same thing. This is the same story that it did before. It just kept doing this and it won't stop. So dropping these core clocks, these memory clocks didn't seem to do anything. So these are all the cards, GPU 0, 1, 3, 5, it drops all of them. You can see here, here's our, what are these, our Raven rates? Just brutal. Ethereum rates also absolutely horrible so it's doing that with all of these cards i was hoping that maybe it was just the 3080 ti and these other ones would work a little bit better i tried this in windows again and it's doing the exact same thing it doesn't seem to matter what i put these clocks at using msi afterburner in windows on a 3080 ti it's doing the exact same thing it just keeps trying to unlock, resume mining, trying to unlock in a constant cycle that keeps the hash rates down here between like 8 and 12 for the 3080 Ti. I'm not going to keep doing this. This is just going to 
keep messing up. Let's try this on Ergo and see if it works a little bit better. Hey guys, so I finally got my Ergo wallet set up. And here are some rough numbers. So you can see here it is hashing away. I'm having LHR errors on my 3060 and my 3070. However, all these other ones are working good and they're all fairly consistent across the board. So I think if I got this 3070 and 3060 working on LHR, you can see here it's at LHR 10, LHR 10. If I got those working, it would kind of be in line with what other guys are seeing with these numbers. So I did a quick breakdown here. This rig on just Raven and then on Ethereum with the 70% LHR, what the revenue would be, and then on Ethereum plus Ergo. So I also tried this on Ethereum plus Raven and I could not get any of these cards to work. So if you look here, so these are just the overclocks here. These are the ones that I've left. These are my Raven and Ethereum settings. So I just left them the same. And they're they're pretty close in line with what the the uh, T-Rex guide tells you to do. So here's the card here. If you look here at the 3080 Ti, just with Raven, I'm doing 587 revenue. So this is revenue. This isn't taking into consideration power costs or pool costs or anything like that. I'm just doing straight revenue. So Ethereum 70% is at 488. So about a dollar less than if you're just running straight up Raven at this point in time. And here you go. If you go Ethereum plus Ergo on the LHR T-Rex unlock, we're at 534. So 534 versus straight Ethereum at 488. However, if you're just running Raven at 100% speed, since there's no LHR on the Raven algorithm, we're at 587. So it's still more profitable for me to run straight Raven. Now the power consumption will probably be a bit more on this, but that's a that's a pretty big difference. That's like a 10% increase. I don't think that your power costs are going to be 10% more for that. Like 50 cents, I don't think you're going to be burning an extra 50 cents to run Raven versus this this one. It'd be I don't think it'd be even close to that. Could be though, who knows. So we'll go down here to the 3080 we got 498 on just Raven, 430 on the LHR Ethereum unlock, 454 on ETH plus Ergo. And it's a, kind of the same story across the board. Looks like these bigger, more powerful, like the 3080 Ti, looks like it's got the biggest price difference when you're running Ethereum plus Ergo compared to the 70% just Ethereum unlock. These ones like 270 versus 247 they're pretty close mind you that's getting pretty close to the just raven number i got 279 for just raven 270 for eth plus ergo so that's that's pretty close right there so if you've got like a 3060 ti it might and even this 3070 ti it could make sense if you would rather hold ethereum and ergo could make sense to run this versus just running Raven. But for now, me personally, I want to stack as many Ravens as I can before the halving. So I am going to keep this on just Raven. It's getting close, guys. This, These unlocks are pretty fantastic. It's getting really close. If this gets a little bit, a little bit better, or if I could run Ethereum plus Raven at the same time and get it to work, I think that's probably what I will do. But for now, I'm going to just be running Raven. So if you look here, this thing is still trying to unlock those two cards, these LHR 10s. And so we got the 3070 and the 3060. It just keeps giving me those continuous error loop trying to unlock the LHR. I tried it again on my 3080 Ti with Raven and Ethereum. And that's what it does. It just keeps doing that over and over again. So I think if I maybe played with some settings, I can get these cards to work. But I don't, I'm not going to keep mining this, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. We'll just pull this up real quick here. This font is probably pretty small. But here is my PC running 
Whew, that's getting toasty. So this room I'm in right now is like ridiculously hot. Like it is ungodly hot in here. So that's why this card is so hot. I need to open a window and get another fan on this card. So here's the memory temp. You could see 92. I don't trust this 82. 63, 92. That's about where this card is at. So this is a 3080 Ti and a PC with bad cooling. That is what it is running at. So this one I have right now running the same thing, Ergo plus Ethereum, just to try it out on Windows. Works just fine. I could not get the system to work running Raven and Ethereum, but it seems to work okay with Ergo. So here you go. This is October 8th, 2021. These are the current prices. And based on these prices, the difficulties and everything, these are the prices that we're getting. Take a screenshot of that if you like. That is what it is at. So for now, I'm going to go back to just straight up Raven. This was an interesting test, and this is my first time ever mining. Ergo, I never mined it before. So these hash rates right here, I don't know if these are good, if these are bad. Like that means nothing to me. I've mined a lot of Ethereum and a lot of Raven, so I understand what these hash rates are. This one, not so much. Let the revenue, oh, here we'll just move over a little. You can see here, we'll just bump this up. These are just the, this is just a broken out for these cards. So like the Ethereum portion versus the Ergo portion. If, if anyone's curious for these cards. So the Ergo mind is worth more than the Ethereum mind on this, which I guess makes sense if this is a 30% unlock and this is a 70% unlock. This one should be worth a bit more. So I hope somebody gets some use out of this. Try out your cards, see if they work. See if you can get this 3070 and 3060 working on it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to get it to work, but all these other ones work just fine. Oh, it looks like the 3080 is starting to mess up a little bit. It's down to LHR 29. That's another reason why I like to just run Raven. I don't need to worry about that LHR stuff. So I hope this helps somebody. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Let me know what other videos you want me to put out, if there's some other mining software you want me to try out. And thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you like. I'm just about at 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool, sitting at 900. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.